imagine I'm back there, in the basement of Shadow Point. We're strangers, but somehow I know your name. I call to you, and we leave together on August 20th, 2008. This is the place. 
planetarium, the stars and planets are projected onto the screen to create a picture of the night sky. This is the other one, but I need to somehow go there. There's some sort of a sense to it or something. It doesn't seem like it. Here we go. Finley. Go back. Go back now. They're waiting for me. Get out of here. Alex? Hello? Alex Burkett? I'm Officer Dresden. Are you okay? I met your family. No one's angry. You just scared them for a couple of days. 
I'm in the observatory. I'll be upstairs. I'll wait at the cable car. Take all the time you need. Time is all I have. I guess these are like the gloves he wears. solid dome of stars. Today, modern telescopes reveal a universe of unfathomable depth and beauty. What mysteries still await us at the nexus of time and space? Was that Lorna's voice? Mansfield, 2008, July, OBE. On behalf of the Fort Lockmire Historical Trust, thank you for joining our tour of the heavens. Thank you for visiting Shadow Point. Is that Lorna? Did she say what her name was? Thank you. What's her last name Dresden? Today? That is Lorna. Alex? Lorna Dresden. I know I'm the last person you want to speak to, but I'm confused too. I knew where to find you. When I got your report, your picture, I knew. I saw you there. Not today, but years ago, when I was young. My name's Lorna. I know what your name is. I think you saved me. And I did. I don't know how or from what, but tell me. I've got time. So do I. If you do the bonus missions via the doors in the central room, I believe that gives extra info on who Patrick Stewart character is. Yeah, okay, yeah, that's what I was uh, curious to because uh, there were switches uh, in the room, right? Let's, I'll see the... Because this was the first level. I found my workshop in the ruins of an ancient citadel, behind an impervious mechanical gaze, secured by eight locks. Here I can work undetected. Hmm, okay. Eight locks and then you will have a secret laboratory. Okay, let's find them. We will do that uh, in, I don't know, when. But uh, let's just return to the main room and I'll say a few things, I guess. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. So, I uh, I guess I was uh, thrown off uh, a little bit that it was a puzzle game. But it kind of like is more, more than that. Um, in terms of like, you know, you have normal game style, I guess it's like puzzle adventures game for storyline. Um, but, yeah. <laughs> I guess it will just be concrete or whatever. Can I return or something? No. Um, you know, I think uh, in terms of graphics we can really pass it because it's not a game that uh, kind of relies on heavy graphics, you know, it's, 
in this art, in this cartoonish art, art style, which works for Quest and works for, I guess, the kind of universe I mean, the game was put in. And I was really pleasantly surprised by the gameplay. I would, I, I did not like uh, have an opportunity to play with different kind of uh, like, um, like this, you know, this mirror mirrors effect, like different dimensions, different uh, time. Like you could change object objects. Like it was different uh, vision. Like it works really well in terms of uh, VR. That's why it was like you know a really great showcase of that. Uh, it's kind of like it was so something sometimes so mind-boggling, but eventually it's a it's a pretty solid uh, puzzle game because sometimes you need to think and sometimes you need to like put into the perspective how things will lay into the other uh, like um, dimensions. Um, some things were easy, some things were fucking hard, but I just had to stop and like think about it and then like um, I wonder if the solutions that I did uh, other people did the same. I think you could complete the game with different uh, like you know different uh, ways of doing that. For example, when I was in the different dimensions, I was throwing things like onto the wall or like one time I had to like literally stack uh, an object between like uh, corners into the wall. Um, and then I just somehow picked it up, but I, I'm pretty sure, I think at least, my solutions were a little bit uh, non-obvious, I guess. I suppose there, there were more obvious solutions to the puzzles that I did, but eventually I, I did it at the end of the day, so I'm not even sure. I guess this game is uh, a cool in a way that I think you could complete it in, um, in your way. Um, you know, storyline, I think the problem here was that the gameplay was so, um, like, you absorb yourself so much into the gameplay that the storyline kind of like faded into the background, even though the purpose of this puzzle was to save this uh, girl, Deona, but uh, you were so engaged in puzzles and what's happening all around you that I think um, it was just pushed pushed to the other, um, to the background, I guess. Um, I suppose by doing these um, bonus missions, you will uh, like uh, get the other ending, not other ending, but uh, more explanation to the story, I guess, to the narrator. Uh, but we won't do it now. I think it's uh, similar in terms to what I did with Tokyo Kronos. I mean, I guess, kindish. Because here you have um, a more explanation to the story. And in Tokyo Kronos you have a continuation, kinda. But I will do it in the similar style of Tokyo Kronos that I will do the bonus missions later. I don't know when, maybe, maybe even soon. Who knows? I'll just edit the whole, um, the whole game uh, onto the YouTube, and then I will think about what I will do next. So we'll see about that. Um, but yeah, this game was really worth playing because it's a really cool experience, um, experiencing these mind-boggling puzzles. Really, I did. I didn't really care about much that graphics were a little bit sharpish or whatever. But it's just cartoonish style for that game, which works, which is self-explanatory. Uh, some ones were easy to do. Some ones were fucking hard. But eventually, I did it. So it is completed hundred percent, and we will do bonus missions one day. But. Uh, that's it for now at least, so um, I guess till the next time or whatever. <laughs>